Hey guys, so in the previous video, we've seen how to add new tabs to your app, right? So we now have two tabs here. We have a breaking news tab and we have a local news tab. And I also showed you how to assign different data from your spreadsheet to different tabs, right? So we now have two um, sheets on our spreadsheet here, a breaking news sheet with some data and a local news sheet with some data. And then we have the breaking news um, tab here. Uh, we have the source assigned to the breaking news sheet and the local news tab here. The source is assigned to the local news. And as you can see, that data is now displayed on our app here. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the way that this data is displayed on the app. And the way we're going to do that is by going to the layout page. This is the page where we do the customization, right? So on the right hand side here, you can see that we have a section called style. And this is the the section where we dis where we select the way that um, the data is displayed. As you can see here, we have different display options, right? So currently the style of um, of data display that we have selected is the list, right? And the reason why the data appears like this is because we have selected this style, right? All the data that we have in our spreadsheet here appears in a list, right? And this can be a very good style, but it depends on what you're trying to do, right? Um, then the other styling option that we have is the compact style, which is again, a list, uh, it, it's sort of like a list, but instead of having the description and the author displayed under the title, it just gets rid of that and it's a more compact style as the name suggests. The next option that we have is the tiles option, which adds a big image on, on top of everything else, right? And I think that this uh, display style is very ideal for this type of app that we're trying to make here, a breaking news tab, because on a breaking news website, you know, or a news website in general, you usually get a nice big image, you get the title, and then you get a description below the image, right? So this is very common for a breaking news site. And this is the one that I'm going to use, I'm going to be using for this example. Now, the next section in once we select a style, the next section that we have is a data section. And this is a very important section because here is where we're able to assign the data from the spreadsheet to the data on the element, right? So we on the um, on our spreadsheet here on the breaking news sheet, we have different headings, right? As you can see, these headings appear on this section right here. So we're able to select what data will go to which part of the element, right? So the title here is this section right here. This little um, bold text right here is the title. The details is the thing below it. And then the image is, of course, what's going to appear on that section right here. Uh, as you can see, because we don't have an image here, we don't have a field to assign an image to, the image is automatically converted to be the title, but I actually don't want that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image to my article here. So instead of having this title, I'm going to have an image. And the way I'm going to do that, let's actually add some real data to our spreadsheet, right? So let's go to CNN here and let's find some breaking news. So this uh, video, guys, is being recorded in um, April, April 2020. So this is the uh, coronavirus uh, time. And every single news article is, of course, about coronavirus. So what I'm going to do is if I can get rid of this ad, it would be nice. Anyway, so I'm just going to um, get this image. So I'm just going to open it in a new tab so I can get the URL. And I'm going to create a new column here. I'm going to call that image. I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm just going to paste the URL of the image right there. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get the title. I think this is actually... Uh, yeah, that's the title. So I'm going to put the title there. I'm not going to have that as bold. 
and then as a description I'm just gonna um, let's see I'm just gonna copy the first paragraph here for the description um, and I'm gonna copy the format of this box right here and paste it there so everything is formatted the same um, and then let's go back to our app as you can see new columns found because now we have a, a, an image column I'm gonna click yes and what this is gonna do if we go to image here which is this element right here we can now assign it to an image and it should if we refresh this one more time it should add the image right there there we go guys and we can do the same for this one to give you another example so here we go guys I have now added two articles I refreshed the um, I reloaded the sheet here and now we have the two articles displayed on our page so that's what you can achieve with the data section you can attach you can link the different headings on the spreadsheet with the different elements here right so now let's move down so this actually this section right here is you get this in every single one of these styling options right so every single one of these has the data section right here however some other styling options such as tiles you know they have more customization options right so um, here we also have a section for design right so the image is URL yes that's correct then we can also select the tile shape so we can make this square right to get a bigger image or we can make it a circle and so on I think that the three to three to two is the best one right this is really good then we can select how many tiles we can have per row right so so many different customization options guys um, and then we can also have a text style so we can uh, have a, an overlay with the text on top of the image we can have bigger text and so on um, I think I think this one is good um, and then there's some overlays you can add as well so you can have a tag such as um, the author so we can add the author on the top left corner there there's so many different customization customization options you guys can go through I think here we can actually add the title no actually the title is a little bit too long so we could just add the author right as an example so that's the idea guys every different styling option is going to have diff different customization options that you can go through and completely customize the way that your data is going to appear by assigning of course the the different um, the different fields on your spreadsheet to the different parts of the elements so this is it for this video guys please feel free to go through the different styling options and try to to style the um, the data that you have on your spreadsheet now on the next video I'm gonna go through the details option which is very different to what we saw so far um, regarding the calendar the map and the checklist of use this is something that I'm gonna leave for the end because these um, options right here are specific to different types of apps you know for example if you're going to use the map display option you know you, you would have to create a certain app um, in order to display that type of information so I'm going to leave those uh, for the end where I'm just going to give you like a brief um, uh, example of the different apps you can use those in but in the next video we're going to go through this option right here